Mom. Yesterday, I went to teacher Jonathan's office, to ask him a question on mathematics. And, did, he help you? Yes, a lot, he showed me how to work out, questions on commission. Thoughts nice mercy, you know your exams are just around the corner. And now that schools are closed, because of the corona pandemic, you should do a lot of practice on maths. It's one of the subjects that you haven't been performing well. Yes mom, I even think you should ask him, whether he will be available, so that you can drop me at his office. He had promised to help me more on that topic. No problem Mercy, I will do exactly as you have said, but then, you should call him to check whether, he will be available, and willing to help you, by the time we will get to his office. Okay mom, let me try to reach him through your phone please. Hello Mom and Mercy. Hello Teacher Jonathan. This is Mercy calling. Oh, Mercy how do you do? How do you do, sir? I am with Mom, and, we are from the supermarket, on our way home. Okay, that's good Mercy. How can I help you? I wanted to make a request if you won't mind, to allow mom to drop me at your office, for you to assist me on the topic of commission, as you had promised. Mercy, why not? Welcome. Right now as we speak, I'm at Westburns. Heading to my office, so in the next five minutes, I will be there. Welcome Mercy. Thanks a lot, and can't wait, to be in your office for the lesson. Guess what mom? He has agreed. Okay Mercy, I will drop you. We are almost there. Please come in. Hi, Teacher Jonathan. Hi Mercy, please have a seat. Thanks sir. Welcome Mercy, I think you still remember the example I gave you yesterday on commission. Yes Teacher, I can't forget it. I want to use the same example to teach you how to work questions on commission when you are required to find the total sales or value of goods. Okay please do so. I told you to imagine working for my company that sells radios, and you are the sales girl. Then let's say, this month I paid you, your basic salary, of 20,000 shillings. And your total earnings was 32,000 shillings. Remember your commission, is still 5% for goods sold above 10,000 shillings. Now the question I want to ask you is, what was the total sales or value of goods for that month? In other words, what was the value of all the radios you sold for me this month? Mercy, where do you think we should start? Sir, I do recall you telling me that, total earning is made up of my basic salary, plus my commission. Very good Mercy, that is very correct. So this, this total earning of 32,000 shillings, is made up of, your basic salary of 20,000, plus the commission you got that month. So teacher Jonathan, if I subtract, the salary of 20,000 shillings, from the total earning of 32,000, what I will get will be the commission in shillings. Perfect, Mercy. Go ahead and subtract. Total earning equals to basic salary plus commission, meaning 32,000 equals to 20,000 plus commission. So, commission will be 32,000 minus 20,000, which is equal to 12,000 shillings.
Wow. Mercy, I can see you are listening and understanding. Thanks, teacher. Now, Mercy, remember your commission is 5%. So the commission we have got of 12,000 shillings represents your commission of 5%. Make it more clear, please, teacher Jonathan. What I am saying is that we have got the commission as 12,000 shillings. Now I want you to understand that the total sales or value of goods above 10,000 shillings was the one used to calculate your commission and is represented by 100%. Okay teacher. Let's go on. But know that this 100% doesn't include the goods above 10,000 shillings. So teacher, what do we do now? So, easy mercy, we ask ourselves. If a commission of 5% represents 12,000 shillings, what about 100%? If 5% represents 12,000 shillings, then 100% represents 100% times 12,000 divided by 5%, which will be 240,000 shillings. Am I right, teacher Jonathan? Excellent. Mercy, you are becoming a maths genius. This 240,000 shillings will now give us the value of goods above 10,000 shillings and the one used to calculate the commission, then we add the goods above to get the total sales or value of goods. So teacher, I should add the goods above. That is 240,000 plus 10,000 shillings to get the total sales. Exactly, Mercy. Okay, teacher. The total sales will be 240,000 shillings plus 10,000 shillings which will be 250,000 shillings. Bravo! Mercy, that is correct. And you should never forget to add the goods above. That is the 10,000 shillings after you get 240,000. Teacher I will never forget. Thanks a lot teacher Jonathan, and God bless the work of your hands. Welcome Mercy, and all glory to the Almighty God. I think it's getting late Mercy. Let me call your mom to pick you. And make sure you do all the questions on commission, the ones asking you to find total sales, or value of goods. Bye bye Mercy. Bye bye teacher Jonathan. Thanks a lot for watching my YouTube channel, and God bless you. Don't forget to subscribe for new alerts on Mercy and Teacher Jonathan lessons.